so for this first tutorial i'm going to be talking about the things you need the basic things you need as a fashion designer there are other things but this ones are very important now first thing is you need a long ruler yes when you're drafting your long fabrics so whether you're drafting it on the pattern paper or you're drafting directly on your fabric you're cutting your fabric directly you need this very long ruler okay those things the long ruler makes your clothes straight. You need this long ruler, trust me. Okay, so now you need this curve. You can use this curve as a hip curve or your hammer curve to curve your pockets. It is a lifesaver, trust me. This hip curve is very important. And then you also need this. This is like a small pattern master. Can you see this 90 degrees angle here? It is very important. You use it and then i use this place as a small ruler then this place too you can also use it as your curves to curve your bust here contouring your bust here and everything this curve is very important then you need your ruler yeah your tape rule yes what are you doing with that? your tape rule you need this tape rule it's very important now can you see i have two types of tape rule there this is the one that is very common and the old type and this is a new one that is just in the market now this old one with time this upper part comes off and when it comes out then you start cutting midways and everything when this one cuts off i advise you don't use the step again so, so but this new one is durable that's why i just got this new one can you see this you just go to market where they sell any sunny materials or equipment you can get to buy this new one is available okay so and then one thing important thing is i always advise the tape you use to take your client measurement is the same tape you will use to draft please to cut your fabric please because with time we've noticed some variations in calibrations of tape rules so if i use this tape to take my client's measurement this is the tape rule i'm going to use to cut the fabric clothes okay now we have two scissors you can see i have two scissors one is my Fabric scissors, don't mind the fabric that is smaller. Then what is my pattern for my pattern for my paper? Please don't use the your scissors, the scissors you use to cut your fabric to cut your paper because with time the fabric scissors get blunt, as in get blunt normally get blunt with time. But when you use it to cut paper, you to cut your hair, you do got things, then it gets blunt easily. Okay, now this is the seam ripper. Use it to rip seems that you are not using again maybe you are saying and you made a mistake use it to lose it i advise my student do not use this blade to loosen your seam do not use blades can you see this chap edge use it to loosen your fabric now this is a chalk yes it's a chalk it looks like a pencil but this is actually a chalk i like this chalk because after hanging it goes off i don't like sewing clothes and then turning it to the other side and seeing my chalk mark and everything so i use this chalk okay but you can use normal chalk okay but this is another type of thing now for my machine yes people always ask me is it real which needle do you use for your machine my machine cannot sew this kind of fabric this ha size 18 trust me it can sew different types of fabric all types of fabric i have tried it over time and i know this is the ha size 18 okay now can you see that this foot is for fixing invisible seat and it's for blackhead there's also the one for industrial machine but because this is class is basically for beginners so i'm bringing this one that is for blackhead trust me it's a lifesaver when fixing invisible zipper this foot is a lifesaver with time i'm going to teach you how to attach this to the machine okay now see my beautiful bust hem this bust hem is that made they are ready made ones in the market why i made this one okay i'm going to teach you how to make a bust term in subsequent classes i'm going to teach you how to make a bust term maybe in my next class i'm going to teach you how to make a bust ham okay so this is a bust term you use it to hang on your cups your bustier cup your corset cup please do not flat iron your club cups do not flat iron your cups okay so you use this to hang now can you see what's here this is a pin cushion or pin holder okay you put your pins here now can you see this pin there are two types of pin here can you see this small pin 
okay this is a very common one that people use but over time i realized that my styles or my students forget to remove some of those pins from the fabric after sewing okay so we started using this you see this one too in the market then we started using this Start using this now this is long it's colorful so there's no way okay let me take a fabric there's no way you will hold you put it on your fabric and you will notice okay it's big so there's no excuse for you there's no excuse you will remember you will see it after finish when you finish saying you will see it so you will remember to remove it okay that's why i advise people to use this needle okay all right for this class that's everything there are other things you can use there are other things actually that you can use but for this class these are the things i think they are very important and they're lifesavers okay thank you for watching thank you for staying tuned if you like this video give this video a thumbs up then can you subscribe to my channel now when you subscribe to this channel what happens is that every time a tutorial drops you get a notification on your phone so you can go and watch the tutorial trust me you don't want to miss any tutorial on this channel okay and then please like my videos invite your friends to follow my channel this is a channel i said i said earlier on this channel we're going to be talking about Syrian hacks for beginners even for advanced then we're going to be talking about something for intermediate also Okay, and then we're going to talk about the business side of fashion. We're going to talk about different things that are going to boost your fashion business. Alright, kindly follow this channel. Thank you very much.